What's going on? Charles Bootenston here, and today we have a very special topic. And the reason I say that is because I get these comments and these questions all the time. What about my friends? What about my family? What about society? What about something that I just have no control over? In other words, you, you do have control over your friends and the people that you actually associate, whether you're at work or you're at school, you can associate with other people. Obviously, if it's a smaller company, associating between four people, you gotta make it work. But if you're, if you're at a school, I went to a school that was like, what, 4,000 people? There was 1,000 per grade or 800 per grade, and I knew everyone, and you just associate with the right people. I'm gonna introduce a topic that's gonna be very profound. So in 2009, it was 2000, so I started reading 2007, 2008, and that's when I really started changing my life around. I graduated school a little bit late, uh, college, because I just was a total disaster at that time. First book I actually read cover to cover was early 2007, right before I graduated. And then 2009, early 2009, a guy from Tony Robbins' circle or whatever came in, a sales guy came in and he said, listen, there's something called a UPW, Unleash the Power Within, you should go see it. Obviously he wasn't as popular as he, as he is now. Tony's embraced social media, obviously Netflix documentary was now, whatever. Long story short is that's really when the journey started beginning because I was kind of a victim of my circumstances. You know, I didn't have the greatest friends or the greatest influences or the, the best people in my life and that's what I blamed it on or the reason I don't have money or the reason I don't have health or the reason that I'm not in the relationships that I want is all these things on the outside, all right? Things that I thought I couldn't control at the time and then I went to UPW and that's when he said, hey listen, by the way, uh, you're not a victim, you can change it and here's how. And then he kind of just gave you this blueprint. blueprint. From there, moved on, took his advanced courses, very expensive, I probably, on Tony, probably about 60, 70 grand. I spent on his courses, I've been to UPW a couple of times, he's actually doing it again, not this week, the following week. And one of the biggest things is people say about your social circle. And I'm about to introduce, and I've already said it a couple of times, a topic, and this is a very interesting quote that I ran across. So it says, nobody throws away another person. They only move faster, and those left behind consider themselves rejected. Let me read that again. Incredible. Nobody throws them throws away another person. In other words, you could, however you even want to break that down. Nobody rejects another person. Nobody rejects a, a classmate. Yes, you can uh, based on if you're not compatible with them or whatever. I'm not talking about moral, ethical reasons. I mean people that you actually care about, that you like, and then you start taking this growth to the next level and then this is what happens. Over, over time, you just start incre incrementally improving. Nobody throws away this person, okay? They just, you, just move faster and those left behind consider themselves rejected. There's a couple of friends that would make fun of me. You know, why are you reading so much? Why are you uh, working out? Why are you eating healthy? Why are you not being the way that you've always been? In other words, you went 22 years of your life and I was with you for say 15 years and this is their thinking looking at me. I went 10 years of my life or 15 years of my life with you. Why are you on this self-development path? Why are you talking about law of attraction? Why are you talking about meditating? This is before it was even cool. You know, whether it's cool or not now, I have no idea. But for me, I've embraced it. And then the people that have come along for the journey with me are the ones that I've actually picked up along the way. I never looked at the people that I picked up along the way and said, actually, I want that person to join me. It's just, as you move up, you just start aligning with different people. So a lot of people have asked, you know, how do, family members, I can't get, you know, it's tough. You know, my father, perfect example. He's, he's a negative guy based on the news that he ingests, okay? So what I've noticed is that someone that I can't change, excuse me, is my father. You know, I'm not gonna be able to change his thinking or anything else. So this is this is the way that I actually handle it. Family members, people that I can't, you know, move away from as easily. I just go up, understanding this is who they are, they're doing the best they can with what they have. In other words, the knowledge, the, the wherewithal, and things like that. I don't feel bad for them, I don't try and change them. I used to, I used to try and change them, I'd be like, Dad, you should be more positive. You should think about other things. You should be going to the gym more often. You should. And then after a while, I said, I'm unhappy because I'm trying to change him and he's not changing. So now I just say, this is who they are. They're on, they're on their own path, their own journey and things like that. People, especially associating when it comes to friends, colleagues, uh, social media and things like that, who you actually ingest 
is who you become, okay? So if you're ingesting negative news, drama, TV, reality TV, whatever the case is, you're gonna start becoming that person, you're gonna start talking about that, and that's who you're gonna become. So in other words, if there are people in your life that you wanna get rid of, if there's a spouse, not a spouse, but say a relationship, whether that is an actual intimate relationship or just a friendly relationship, and you keep on this journey, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a gap between the way you start thinking. And it's gonna be a very, it's gonna be a one-time thing. One time you're gonna be out, it could be drinking, you could be socializing, you could be even just talking, you know, walking down the street. And they'll say something and you'll say, wow, I used to actually agree with this person at one time and now I don't. There's gonna be just a, a shift in your mind and you're gonna say, I don't actually agree with what they said and then for me is that I never actually brought it up so say say someone says I'm gonna be in this job forever and in my mind I don't say oh yeah I agree in my mind I say oh man you know that's something that I completely disagree with is that you can go out and get a different job or you can go out and get a different job within the same company or you can move up within the job and and that actual thinking is something that I do not agree with and then you start noticing that you just start leveling up even further and then they start thinking they're getting rejected they'll make fun of you they'll poke fun of you they'll do all these things and you'll say you know what actually uh, I can tell you right now is that I don't you know whether you bring it up in person or not what I started doing is that I just I just stopped hanging out with them as much you know start stop texting as much in other words, there's a couple friends that literally I just, you know, either didn't reply to the text. There's there's someone in my Instagram messages right now that I just delete the thing because they're getting mad and aggravated and it's like, dude, I don't need a, you know, I don't need that in my life because where I'm going, this is so small and so minuscule. Okay, the last thing is that I'll say about this is that it's going to happen. So long as you keep on this journey, it will happen. It's natural. Okay, you just, you just have different priorities. Someone else's priority could be not going to the gym, not eating healthy, not reading, not thinking that personal development is cool or on track to actually change their life. Or they could say, you know what, I have a fixed mindset, you know? And then you just start splitting and splitting and splitting. And it's just natural. There's friends that got married and they have kids and they don't go out. They don't need to go out. Why do they have to go out? They, they're married with a kid. That's their priority. It's the same thing is that if you, if you are aligning with someone and then you just start splitting, it's natural. Let it happen. It's not a big deal. Stop trying to change the person. Stop. Yes, introduce them a couple of times and you just leave it be. That's it. I, I introduced my father to it a couple of times. I still, I love the guy. It was one of those things that I thought I can actually change people. You know, you are, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. It's 100% true, because 2020, 20, 22 years of my life, people are probably telling me, Charles, if you study, if you do this, if you do this, if you do this, it's gonna change your life. I said, I'm not having any of this, I'm not having any of this. And then at 22, read Feel the Fear Dude Anyway, read How to Win Friends and Influence People, and then that's when it all changed, and I said, holy cow, you can actually learn to be better in these areas that I thought was a fixed mindset. So if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Obviously your social circle is everything. You know, I would say the last two months is that that area of my life started to flip. You know, where I started looking at that and I started saying, actually, this is an area I really need to master. You know, the people you hang out with, the people that you associate, the, the conversations that you have, the text messaging, even the exchange within, you know, bantering with other people, girls with their, whether it's intimate or friends or whatever the case is, is that who you look to date intimately, who you actually look to become friends with or who you want to become, just manifests in your life. It's crazy, it, it, it really is crazy. So if you have negative people, push them out first. And then you just literally just do a Rolodex in your life of who you associate with most, most often. Will you be associating with them in five years or six years? Are they on the same journey, seven, eight years? And just think in your mind, it's natural. Introduce them to a topic of say health or not drinking so much or meditating or building wealth or whatever the case is. Maybe two or three times, bring it up casually. Don't try and change them, don't overwhelm them. If they don't like it, cool, not a big deal. That's who they are. You can still, by the way, associate people that are not on say the same trajectory just know that if that relationship is bringing you down that's something that you do have to wean away from and or get rid of it's just natural all right don't look at it as a bad thing you're not a bad person you're just on different paths so hope this is a good uh, influence for you guys to kind of just push away 
the the bad the bad blood that's around you that's surrounding you the cloud and and this is actually the last thing I'll say right now is that what I've noticed is that m the majority of the people are in this 80%. You know, I, I think of it as a 10, 80, 10. The 10 at the bottom, you have no hope for. They are people that just, you, you can't introduce anything to them. You know, they're just, they're just bad people. You know, the bottom 10% of society, you always have those. You know, they could be in jail, they could be drug addicts, they could be just completely corrupt. Just really evil people. Then you have 80% that are just trying to get by. They're just trying to make the money, do the best they can, you know, things like that. They're just, they're, they're, they're using the best tools that they have. Those are the people, you know, you, you know, you respect them because they're using the tools that they were given, and then the top 10 is, you have to understand that, is that 10 people, consider just one person special, or even less, maybe maybe out of 20, there's only one, which is 5%. And then you think about it and you say, holy cow, within society, it is very, very small. It is a very small. So as you start going to the top in anything, in your field, in your in life, in meditation, whatever, it get, that's why when people go to Tony Robbins events, they just go all in is because you're literally just with the upper echelon of most people and their mentality, their positivity, their balancing, life, relationships, wealth, all those things is that it gets very, very small at the top. So you just, you start seeking out less and less people. That's why people like Tom Brady or even, you know, The Rock, you know, it doesn't matter about the industry. They start following each other because to get to that elite level, they know it takes a certain mindset to be in the public eye, to get the scrutiny and still move forward and still, and still not be dragged down by people, society, things, social media, comments, things like that. So this is a powerful video. I don't know, I feel it. I'm glad that I actually put these out. So I first thank you guys. And you know, people say you should have more subscribers and things like that. It, it is what it is. You know, I don't, I don't look at it as it, sh it's, it should be or it shouldn't be. I just know that in 10 years, I'm gonna be in a totally different place. In five years, I'm gonna be in a totally different place. I'm not playing the short tail, okay? The short tail is I try and, you know, clickbait, anything, clickbait titles. I start paying for ads, things like that. For me, natural, organic, best way to go. So if you guys uh, enjoy this, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you wanna do. And of course, if you want any, um, any topics covered, leave in the comments below. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys.